Hey, Nintendo's like, put respect on my name. Oh, we have our camera! Reggie, please come in! OB1 play? That's right, what's up? All right. OB1 play? is going on everybody how are y'all doing bro i had such severe neck pains yesterday right now your boy's doped up on pain medication so i'm feeling a lot better they gave me a muscle relaxer still probably gonna go see the doctor later this week but we good we good let's go to the video right now i'm feeling good <laughs> and so before we get started with this video you already know give the video a big a big thumbs up like 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 this video and the first news item it's finally happening ladies and gentlemen it's finally happening persona 5 royale not these spin-offs not these misu persona games not the developer coming out saying if Nintendo fans ask enough, we'll put the game on your system. Now, the Switch is selling so much. It's swelling like selling like wildfire. It's breaking all kinds of records that these third party companies can no longer ignore the profitability of putting their games on the Switch. It looks like Persona 5 Royale will be coming to the Switch. Now, uh, this is coming from comicbook.com right off the back of a new report that the Persona uh, from an insider that the Persona series is coming to the Switch. A German retailer has listed Persona 5 Royale for the Nintendo Switch. And so usually when these retailers start listing things that means a big presentation is about to happen. Nintendo gave them the heads up and someone on the staff accidentally um, listed the information before the street date two things big more expect more big triple a games coming to the switch and two i forgot my second point i just had it <laughs> uh, what was my second point oh yeah well just more big games are coming to the switch the switch is um the demand is so great that developers can no longer um, ignore what's going on with this oh the second thing is that a nintendo direct is happening soon Jan um june 29th that's what's the date that's been going around the internet end of june it looks like a nintendo direct is happening this caused me to think about other big huge games that are not on the switch yet for the life of me I can't figure out why EA has not put at least one Madden game on the Switch. I understand if you don't you you don't want to put a um, yearly iterations, but just have Madden and have a, a, a unique subtitle for the Switch. Madden, um, Madden on the go or Madden Nintendo, and just have that. That's the Madden game for the Switch. The game would sell especially off of the recent rumors i mean not the recent rumors has been confirmed that a new college football game is coming to the switch in 2023 bro if there's a sports game that would get me off of 2k <laughs> it would be college football bro it'll be so lit uh, for college football to come to the switch and so um persona 5 royale has been heavily leaked multiple local sources coming to the switch and nintendo direct is coming soon speaking of nintendo direct nintendo is really starting to tease us on twitter this is coming from nintendo's nintendo's uk um, twitter account it um revealed a new spittoon 3 stage undertow spillway it says it's a former flood bypass located deep under Splatsville. 
Abandoned for years, it surged in popularity after it was renovated into a stage for Turf War Battles. So a new Splatoon 3 stage and Nintendo of America has shown fuzzy Octarians. It's, they said in Splatoon 3, you'll face down these fuzzy Octarians in the single player story mode. They can swim in ink and use the same moves as the player. So you'll need to stay on your toes and your tentacles, bro. My Splatoon 3 hype level is now at an all time high. I cannot wait for Splatoon 3 to drop. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so lit on the switch <laughs> let's go get it boy i can't wait i can't wait oh man i can't wait and uh to round out this video nintendo switch eShop charts for june 18th have been revealed and the number one best-selling game on the switch this week Mario Strikers Battle League. Not a surprise, the game just launched. Number two, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Number three, Switch Sports. Number four, Minecraft. Number five, Stardew Valley. Number six, Green Hell. Never heard of that game. Number seven, Among Us. Number eight, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Those evergreen Nintendo titles. Number nine, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And number 10, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Because that game also just launched. All right, those are your news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we're out etika where you at boy this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose shit when i do this but hey man I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Obi -Wan. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towers. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 27, 28. Ah, he said, "Hey, no, Dad."